Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 26 of Tropical Rouge for the Year. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Honestly, I should have got something to drink. A little bit more, because you know, this ain't enough. going on are we getting like a throwback oh yeah but in a way this is also kind of a throwback to star twinkle pretty girl ain't it yeah heck she gives me oh whoa god what was her name always freaking happens i can never remember anybody the only ones that i remember from star twinkle is uni madoka um elena lala perunzu and um What was the mascot's name? Oh my god. <laughs> um God, I can't remember her name. I just remember Kinaba and how I hate I loved it in the beginning, but then I hated her saying at the end. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know how in the world I just remembered Fua for one moment. Okay, so Fua, and what was our pink <sighs> child? What was her name? What the heck was her name? It didn't begin with a K, no. I can't remember. No, maybe it did. Did it? Oh God! Mm. I mean, because of course I wouldn't remember her name anyway, because. She's <laughs> Was it Kilana? We're gonna yeah, we're gonna look that up after because. Mm. Okay, are you going to make a poster for it? I mean, yeah, you have the posters that you already got from her, from Shidoin, but also your own as well. Right. 
often. Minus two, I don't think so, but hey, nice try. But they'll still be under uh, under supervision, so they'll be fine. Okay, then add like two more teachers, but everything will be okay. Mm hmm. You know, there's going to be a lot of people like that, unfortunately. Mm. What's up, Mirani? <sighs> of course not. It's not food. And, you know, there's also shooting stars, and you can make a wish on them. <laughs> that just tells you how lazy everyone is. This is right. So also make sure to exfoliate. <laughs> Just watch. <gasps> oh! But what about Namanatu? Wait, Laura, you, you don't want to blind them. Would. 
They look cute, though. I bet you, like, if you look on Twitter, there's probably a lot of fan art of, like, any other girls. I've seen a lot of Songo fan art um, in the last few hours. <laughs> I was like, okay, it must be like a song of a featured episode, which, I mean, hey, not bad about it because I love all my girls. I hope so, too. Is this supposed to rain? Oh. Okay. <laughs> the rain. Oh my god, he has the rain spirit. Yes, that helps, of course. I was going to say, would that be your dad? Because the last parent we saw was Manatsu, and then before that it was Sogo, but now we see Sasuke's dad. Oh my god!
I know that feeling all as well. You would think she would want to also take him out as well and knock him out, but... Clear. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, are you guys here to watch the sitting stars as well? Mm hmm. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Honestly, that was a really cute episode. Like, that ass. I mean, seriously, number one, having a meteor shower. I mean, mm, mwah. Also, saying Asuka's dad. Because, I mean, seriously, the last parent that we saw for this show was Monatsu's dad. And then before that was... Well, technically, no. You got to see Monatsu's mom and Sango's um, mother as well. But then before that was Monatsu's dad. And we haven't really seen meet audience parents. We've maybe like the the phone call, but that's it. We haven't really truly seen either of them. And so I'm kind of hoping that you know we before this series ends, we get to see uh, we get we get to see them. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm <laughs> I just want to see parents all the time because it's just like okay, hey, they're in the child's life. They're not just in one episode and done and it's like that. I mean, because, like, mostly other animes that I've seen from the many years that I've watched anime, there it, it depends on, on how they do it. I get the fact that, like, sometimes they don't really want an anime with the parents being there. Sometimes people do, and it's like that. But, yeah, I think this was a really cute episode. How you gave me feels to Star Twinkle Pretty here, which I was not really expecting that, but especially having the girl who looks like the main character very seriously, especially with her hair, except, you know, she has blue hair, but the way she had her hair styled gave it a little teeny tiny feels of that. And to, you know, have a Pretty Cure series, um, reference other Pretty Cure series is good. That's the one thing that, another thing that I like about this show, or this series so freaking much. <laughs> Uh-oh. Not expecting that ending, Laura, but you know, hey, <laughs> whatever floats your boat. But yeah, I'm very curious about what could also happen next week, but that's not really good. We're not really going to know anything about that until officially, of course, next week. But going back into this episode, yeah, it was really, really, truly sweet. Still, even though it was an Asuka focused episode, it kind of still felt like a Asuka slash Songo focus episode because Songo got a little bit of screen time. And especially with like almost because I feel like the fan favorite of the show is Songo. Um, like I said, if you go on my Twitter, like my timeline on my Twitter right now, you will see a lot of fan art of Songo. Like I will still see fan art of everybody. Like I think maybe two hours before I recorded this, um, I did see like one of Asuka, I've been seeing still, like always, a whole bunch of Mido and not Mido Dean, Manatsu and Laura together because, you know, they are pair. And then every so once in a while, I'll see a couple of Mido Dean, either as herself or Cure Papaya. But I see so much of Sango everywhere. I mean, because not only because, you know, her say you was freaking Kirby from Late Back Camp, but I think a lot of people just love her so freaking much. And she is such 
one like uh, for me i love all five because they're seiyus and such like that but then taking their seiyus out of it and seeing the individuality of each girl i love them even more because of the fact is i can relate to each five girls at the same time and so they're just all freaking adorable and i just love them so much and i just want them to be happy but yeah i just really think this was a good episode for both of them not only both of them but all five girls and such any moment where any of them get a time to shine or all five of them get a time to shine in the episode is one of the best highlights of it and such because it's just really so genuine because you never always get that in any type of series because sometimes like I said once again it is hard to get five girls to get or five guys or team minion characters in a series um time to shine and the one thing that i love about Pure, uh pretty here in general is that they know how to do it and such and they kind of do it right in a way but yeah other than that guys that's my reaction view towards episode 26 of tropical reach pretty here if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next saturday sunday for episode 27 bye guys